Ladies and gentlemen, the Rashawn Slater hype is absolutely real. Even though he opted out of 2020, and most 2020 opt-outs have seen their stock plummet, Rashawn Slater might be a top 7 pick. And in today's video, we're going to watch him uh, not only kick Chase Young's ass, uh, but pretty much handle him in, in 2019, right? I think there's uh, six isolated pass plays. We'll, we'll try to look into all of those. Um, of course, he has a couple of good run reps as well. Uh, let's just jump into it, man. Now, uh, here's the first time that Chase Young and Rashawn Slater lined up on the same side. Now, Slater's not going to block Chase Young, right? Slater's actually going to do a fantastic job. Uh, basically cutting off the linebacker here and this is a fantastic play because Slater has to sprint and get to the inside here and he's going to cut off this linebacker um, and he does a great job sealing him off I mean look at that you get to the inside and you grab the inside right there you grab the inside of those chest plates and you give your running back that lane now uh, of course the running back picks up a solid solid number of yards but uh, Rashawn Slater man uh, you don't you don't want him, man. And, and Harrison's a good linebacker, man. <laughs> that's a good freaking linebacker. Right? That's a, that's an NFL player, right? Um, let's jump forward, man, and and let's let's look at some some Chase Young uh, versus Rashawn Slater highlights. You know we're gonna we're gonna slow everything down to uh, 0.75 speed. Uh, you're gonna see Slater, of course. You have Chase Young right there, but Slater's not gonna block him. This is going to be a running play. He gets up to the next level. Uh, Harrison have been cut off just like two or three plays earlier. Is not gonna let uh, him take the inside. But what's the point of taking the inside if you're gonna fall down? Right. If you fall down and you're not standing up to make the tackle, uh, the running back's going to just pick up a ton of yards. Great block right there by Slater, man. Uh, Slater has great feet, right? I like without a doubt, I think his biggest strength is his feet, his quickness at, you know, off the ball, um, the way he can control his body, right? Like to be that big and, and he's not the biggest tackle, right? He's he's 6'3", 315 pounds. Some people say he might, might be a guard, right? And if he's a guard, he's probably one of the best guards in the nfl from day one um i mean you look at how he gets to these blocks and, and how he blocks these players like the linebacker is not gonna let uh slater take the inside but he's gonna wait over commit here uh, and slater is gonna just wash him towards the inside uh of course this is supposed to be a slater versus chase young video but uh you know blocking schemes and assignments and the way the defense is aligned it's not gonna allow us to be able to watch Slater versus Young on every single play, uh, but those plays are out there, and we will watch those plays, right? Just enjoy these beautiful blocks right here, man. Um, enjoy these, right? Because this little it's a thing of beauty. Wait no longer, guys. Wait no longer. Here's your first rep. You got one on one, Slater versus Chase Young. Slater's gonna start that ass whooping right now, man. And and this is no knock on Chase Young. This just shows you how great of a player Slater could be. You know, if there's one tape that Ray Slater's great, this is it, man. The Ohio State 2019 game. Uh, keep in mind, a lot of people don't know this. Uh, Northwestern got a new offensive line coach, uh, Kurt Anderson, Coach Anderson, uh, in 2019. And I will show you guys Slater's stance in 2018 what, when he played right tackle versus his stance in 2019. He looks so much better in 2019. It is crazy. Let's take a step back here and then let's watch this play. First and foremost, this is a great play from Slater, right? Uh, Chase Young puts his left arm up to, to swipe down. It's a single hand swipe down. And Slater is not going to fall for the bait, right? Uh, the reason why Chase Young is going to throw his right hand up is he's trying to uh, he's trying to get the upper hand, right? He wants Slater to throw that punch so he can go ahead and swipe down. Slater does not throw that punch, right? Slater waits. Slater does a great job getting to uh, Chase at the exact moment. He wants Chase to run upfield, right? He's put the tape on. He studied Chase. He knows what Chase wants to do. He gets his hands on him. Chase does a good job right there to, to do that initial shed of his arms. Uh, but Slater has him held at this point, right? You're not going to beat Slater. Uh, you can't see it, but Slater has his left arm on the inside of Chase Young right in between the chest plates. Great job. And at this point, there's nothing you can do, man. Sl Slater has you beat. Uh, and of course, Chase Young kind of falls. And uh, Slater's, you know, whispering in his ear, man. He's like, not today, man. Not today. Not on this side. Let's jump forward. Alrighty, so here's uh, another rep here, right? Slater, Young, but 
Slater is not going to block Young, um, of course, based off the scheme. Uh, this is how they block this specific play. That's a good block, right? He's playing. He's getting aggressive. Um, there with number 32, right? You don't. You, you don't want any of Slater, man. Uh, that's a top 10 pick right there, right? Uh, great block. Uh, let's move forward and, and let's get into a couple more plays. One of Slater's biggest strengths is his uh, lateral quickness and control, right? Uh, sometimes offensive linemen are going to try to uh, take this angle on the defensive end and sometimes they'll miss, right? A, a player at Chase Young's caliber would oftentimes be able to throw them. And, and let me back up and show you guys exactly what I mean, right? Um, both guys are about trying to lock up. Now, keep in mind, Chase Young has the leverage in this specific play. He has his hands to the inside, right? Inside hands, that's where you want to be. Uh, you're going to see Chase try to throw Slater, right? Um, you'll see it right there. He tries to throw him. But Slater, even though he has his hands to the outside, it's okay. He knows what's about to happen. He has control of his body. He's not leaning, right? Chase Young, 95% of the time, would lock his arms out here, get just enough body separation between him and the offense tackle, and Chase would, would rip them away, right? Um, and that's not happening with Slater. Slater has control of his body. That's a great job, man. Uh, that's a really good rep right there by Slater. Now, um, one of the things that Slater deserves is he deserves a lot of credit for his mental in-game processing. Um, if you guys don't know what that means, uh, basically when you're going to uh, zone block or you're, you're responsible for like a specific gap, uh, in this instance, uh, Slater is going to be responsible for the gap to the right. Uh, and that's up to the linebacker, but that's only if the backside doesn't play it the way this guy is, right? Young is on the hip of Slater. So Young plays this play perfectly. Uh, the mental processing part comes when Slater understands what's happening and he turns around to basically block Chase Young. Now, uh, let me back this up to the all 22. Um, the wide angle, it's a little bit easier to see, but you'll see basically how Slater recognizes what Young is doing, and he kind of stops him. Now, this is only a gain of about two yards, so it's really not a big deal, uh, but the mental processing, in my opinion, is a fantastic part of Slater's game, and um, you know, if Slater plays guard in the NFL, I would love to see him play guard, you know, but at the same time, he'd be a great tackle. Uh, he isn't the longest guy, right? He's, he's like 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 so his, the, the length is not there, right? Uh, and teams might struggle with that, right? They might struggle with taking a player that high if he doesn't have that uh, that lengthiness, right? Uh, but I still think he can be a fantastic offense tackle, even at 6'3". Remember, Austin Jackson's 6'5", Tristan Wirfs is 6'4", so uh, the, the height part of it isn't, isn't the biggest deal, right? Both those guys are going to be fantastic offensive tackles in the league for, for many years, in my opinion. Uh, but this is a good play as well, and this isn't against Chase Young, uh, but this shows that, that same thing we are talking about just in this last play, right, is mental processing. Uh, Slater does a great job, right? He has his, hand, his right hand to the union side. Uh, he knows that if Chase Young comes, great, I'm going to pick him up. Uh, Chase Young is going to drop out of this, uh, play the flats, and he has this right hand right there um, to help basically pick up number 53, and he he gets the defense tackle passed off by the left guard. Left guard is, is going to go somewhere else to help someone else out. Great job by uh, Slater to be able to understand those, those concepts, right? Let's move forward and get to the next play. All right, this next rep is, is interesting, right? And this could be a rep that you can consider. Uh, maybe Slater loses a little bit here. Um, you know, Young does a good job right there. Uh, let's just go back here. Um, first and foremost, Slater is going to overcompensate here because of the fact that there is a linebacker in, in, the, in the gap here, right? Wind up right over Slater. But at the same time, uh, the offense tackle knows that, hey, I have my running back. The protection call is... I have to take Chase Young. There's no way you're going to allow Young to go up against the running back one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but he is going to overcompensate for this, right? Uh, because Young is is kind of playing wide, right? Both of these guys are. You have both linebackers uh, in the gaps. Um, he is caught a little off balance. It's it's not a huge deal because the quarterback doesn't get hit anyways. Uh, but Young gets right into uh, Slater, and he's caught off balance, right? He's, he's trying to get his kick step. Uh, he's not, his base is not great, right? He's off balance. And it's, it's noticeable, right? You, you see his left foot. You see his right foot's further back than his left foot. That's not a good sign. Um, that's that's a loss rep. Obviously, the quarterback gets this out quickly. Um, 
and for the most part slater does a pretty good job uh to make up for it as well right um he does get his hands you know he catches he catches young a little bit uh young gets right into his chest uh, that left arm right there right he he has a young cop um, and he's big enough right like young's not gonna just take him back and put slater on his ass right uh, slater's big enough to to stay up with that and keep that up um, and he does a good job making up for it. I'm going to actually say that Young didn't necessarily win this this block. Even though Young had everything going for him early on, Slater does a fantastic job to make up for it. But let's move forward and get into the next play. Look, when it comes to using his hands, uh, Slater knows what the hell he's doing, man. Like, uh, flat out, this rep right here, this is everything you want from, from your left tackle. Um... You know, one of the things that coaches teach left tackles right off the bat is if you can control a player with one hand, right? This this is this is the best example of, of why if you can control a guy with one hand, you're gonna win. Look at this. Left hand right in the middle of his chest. And after that, it's just control, man. He's strong enough, good enough face, wide, uh, low. And he just controls Young with, with, with one hand, and then you get that second hand up there for, for control, right? Uh, but the initial punch with his left hand right into the chest of Young, and then you get that second hand in there once you have him slowed down and you're, he's controlled. This is a beautiful rep. And again, there's only six or seven of, of these one-on-ones with Slater and Young. Um, Slater does a great job, man. This Ohio State tape of Slater's is why he's going to end up going top 10 to 15 uh, next season because he didn't play in 2020. All right, guys, here's another rep. And, and, and this one here is uh, this is a really nice one. And I want you guys to consider this, right? Uh, look at where Young is relative to he's about a one, one, one and a half yards away from this uh, left hash mark. Uh, and, and I want you guys to consider where he ends up. Now, uh, no one, you know, Young doesn't necessarily lose this block, but this kind of just shows you uh, the drive of Slater, right? Uh, at the end of this play, like, look at where Chase Young ends up, right? He was way over here. He's moved like a good six yards. Um, and it's a little bit more evident from the from the backside here. Uh, let's just forward past it. This is a battle of strength right here, right? Like, Young is trying to control Slater. Slater's trying to control Young. Um, but it's evident that one guy's clearly stronger than the other guy. Uh, because Chase Young, when I look at this, that's great technique from both guys, right? Young has his left arm out. Uh, Slater has his left arm right on Young, right? That's a, that's a, all right, let's see who's stronger. Let's see who's going to whoop whose ass. Um, and Slater just has those feet and he just drives, man. He drives, he drives, he drives. And there's nothing Chase Young can do, man. Uh, you're, I don't know exactly how much Young weighs. I'm going to say he's about 250 uh, plus minus 25 pounds, which is a whole lot. But uh, Slater's 320 pounds, right? That's, that's the difference of 50, 60 pounds. And it's evident, man. When both guys start driving, both guys start going, um, it's clear, man. It's clear who's stronger. A great rep here from Slater. Now, obviously, this play doesn't go anywhere. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, when Ohio State has eight NFL players and Northwestern has one, this is the outcome of the play, right? It's it's all that matters for us is to watch Slater versus Chase Young and see that individual battle. This right here might be my uh, favorite rep because this play uh, shows you how quick how quick Slater is. And, and let me back up here for a second. Um, notice that they're, they're going to run this stunt. Uh, they're going to do this twist with uh, Young going to the inside and the linebacker coming around, as you guys see right there. Um, but Slater does a good job just sticking in, in you know, at this point, this is going to be a, a man-based aligned uh, block. Slater has Young. The running back has number 39, who's blitzing. Um, this shows the quick feet of Slater, his lateral quickness, right, which we've already talked about. Uh, as an offensive tackle, sometimes you have to mirror the defensive end, right? And when it's someone of Young's caliber, this is a difficult block, but he slowed him down just enough where that left guard was able to kind of help. Um, you know, if the quarterback's going to get killed, Slater knows that it's not going to be Young. Young is not going to kill his quarterback. And... This is an impressive play right here, man. Great job by Slater. And let's move forward and, and, and get into the next one. Now, in this play, you have this run pass option. Uh, Slater, it's going to end up being a pass. This isn't really a, a, a pass block. 
uh, and you can you can tell right like this is not he's not kick stepping he's he's blocking out um but you know it's impressive to me because i don't see like young doing things i i saw him do when i was watching and evaluating his tape last last year right um it's crazy because i don't think i ever watched this northwestern game um but it would have been interesting to watch while i was doing my my scout report of chase young not that it would have changed anything right chase young was still the number one overall player coming out last year uh obviously you know positional value had joe burrow going one and young going two but um you know young didn't win like a whole lot this game especially not on the left side he he, he won a lot let me let me correct myself all right uh, he beat the right tackles uh, up a couple times in this game um but he didn't do a whole lot when it came to going up against Slater. you know on this play specifically he would rip past someone right here uh he, he'd long arm people and then rip them and and you know maybe get in there but he didn't do that to slater a ton but let's go forward and watch the next play all right guys this is easily my favorite rep and honestly i should have done this one first but the thing is, is i'm going in order of all of the reps um and it sucks because this is 16 minutes into the into this tape and i don't know how many people are still watching um you know if this video gets a thousand views i'm gonna assume that maybe like a hundred people are watching up to this point um but this is my favorite rep and you guys can just go ahead and watch it in full um, and then we'll get into it uh, the reason why it's my favorite rep is because as an offensive tackle you are taught a couple of things okay uh, one of the first things you're taught is you need to be able to strike someone and um you know the best way to strike someone is with one arm right boom left hand right into the chest beautiful uh, but once you get that first strike in there you need to to grab right and it's not a hold right in the general sense of when there's a 15 or a 10 yard flag uh, it's not a hold right it's more of a you know you can refer to it as a latch or a grab of, of the chest plates uh, but when you strike a, a defensive end as an offensive tackle you need to strike and then latch or, or grab onto that chest plates um and once you are able to latch he's latched on right here right fantastic rep you're latched on beautiful now all you have to do is you're controlling chase young right he's not going to go through you it's impossible right uh, physics doesn't allow that uh, all young can do at this point is go right go left try to swat down try to rip or, or grow you know knock the hands out uh single swipe double swipe to get that latch off of him but a latch from an offense tackle is very difficult to break at this point, all Slater has to do is he just has to mirror whatever it is that Young's going to do. There's nothing Young can do, right? I want to show you what Young tries to do. You see Young's right arm. He's trying to use that right arm to get off of, uh, get Slater off of him. His right arm, uh, he or his right hand, I should say, right? And it's not working. He tried it. It did not work. Typically, it will work 90% of the time. Um, and because Young expects that to work and he, for him to come off of him, uh, Young is basically going to be off balance because it does not work, right? Had it worked, Young would be free to go right here. But because it did not work, Young falls, right? Um, this is, this is you know, if you're going to teach a, a an offensive lineman how to block, this is it right here, man. It doesn't get better than this. It's impossible for it to be better than this. Um, and this is, this is the pinnacle of how to play offensive tackle right here, man. Great freaking rep, dude. I, I love this right here. Great rep, but let's move forward and let's finish this game off so we can get into the next game. All right, guys, here's another rep, Slater and Young. Um, you know, this is uh if he play because, uh, he, Young is doubled, right? He is going to initially get punched by the tight end. Um, when that happens, it makes it really hard for a, a player to, um, to, to get that sack right um, number 89 of course you're gonna see he's gonna hit young first let me just go forward a little bit uh, and then young has to go all the way outside of him it's just a difficult play for young to win uh, let's move forward this is a beautiful play as well um, you gotta keep in mind right Slater has to kick out on this play so that lateral quickness now young is out of his stance man and it might not be as noticeable because Slater is very freaking fast you look at young right now man you look at young and you compare him to the defensive tackles and the other defensive men young is fully out of his tents coming up field right and slater matches that man he matches it and he matches it perfectly he gets his hands on young um that's that's crazy man like you know watching film in slow motion 
it's impressive, man. Like the defensive end is barely out of his stance. These two defensive tackles are barely out of their stance. And Young's like a foot already behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, Slater matches it, right? Um, Slater has fantastic feet, man. You watch his right and left foot and you kind of watch how as soon as he gets out of his stance, the left foot goes and the right foot slides, right? Uh, just a little bit. There's the, the, or the left foot goes and the right foot slides just a little bit. Um, and then, boom, gets his hands, left hand, right hand to just slow him down. Um, and then he just he just has him <laughs> latched, man. That's that's a great rep right there. And, um, you know, Slater's value ha skyrocketed because of this game, right? Uh, I honestly think one of the reasons why he opted out of this season is also because he knew this tape was already out there. Um, which whoever told him that advice, great job, man. Great, great job on you guys. I really like how Slater's going to block Young here. Um, he has really good hips, man. He has good hips and he has great hands. The leverage, everything just works in Slater's favor. Obviously, being 6'3", uh, or close to 6'4", right? um, he, he's able to get low, stay low, um, get his hands on guys and just drive, man. And, and this is a great rep right here. Uh, it's impressive, man. Very, very impressive. Let's move forward. All right, guys, as you guys can see, um, there's about 14-ish minutes left uh, with the All-22, but the game is over, right? It's 3-38. to 38. Uh, Chase Young is is done, right? He's going to take a break. He's not coming back. Um, so this was a great film, great tape to watch. Um, I actually don't want to watch the 28 tape, uh, 2018, sorry, tape. Um but what I actually do want to do is I want to just show you guys a couple of things. Let's, let's just get into the 2018 game really quickly. All right, guys, here's the 2018 tape, right? Um, here's Rashawn Slater. And you look at his stance in 2018. You look at how he's kind of lined up. Um, and you look that you compare that to his 2019 stance, right? Big difference. I think in 2018, it just didn't look right, man. And we'll just watch this play really quickly. Here he is going up against Chase Young. Um, it, in my opinion, the stance just didn't look that good. I think, obviously, he got a new coach, right? Coach Anderson in 2019. Northwestern hired a new coach. Uh, and that stance got fixed, man. He went from a right tackle to left tackle as well. I think his stance, well, as he became a left tackle, was much better. Uh, great job on that coach to, to fix that up. Um, but I want to show you guys a couple more plays, right? Uh, let's just jump into it and let's go into a couple more plays. All right, guys, so the first play I want to show you guys, you're going to see Slater uh, down block this uh, linebacker here. You know, one of the things I love with Slater is how good of a run blocker he is, right? That right there is an impressive block. Uh, he he puts this guy down, man. That <laughs> That's a good freaking block right there. Drives him, drives him, and he tosses his ass. That's a really, really nice block, right? Uh, here's another block. This one comes from the 2018 season against Chase Young. Um, he does a pretty nice job. Uh, he's going to get out there, get his right hand on Chase Young, um, and slow him down, right? It's the strike, the latch, and then just the control. Great block. Let's get into the next play. I think the next play is a really nice play as well. Um, basically, you have him at left tackle, right? 2019. Uh, he's going to... Uh, he's going to switch off right with between him and the left guard. He's going to pass the left, the left defensive end, at least from what it looks like to us, give him to the left guard and then pick up that defensive tackle. And he stops him as well. <laughs> These are the types of plays that teams want to see, right? Um, when you're going to put his film on, you're going to say, let's see how he passes guys off, right? Let's see how he processes these types of things. Other than just his technique and just his footwork, these are the impressive parts to his game. Um, here's another tape right here. Great job. Uh, he's basically the, the defensive end. You got to give him credit as well. Uh, the, the He's going to, and by he, I mean Slater, he's going to use his left hand to punch. And the defensive end is going to swipe that hand right off of him. But because of the fact that Slater does not lean right, he plays with a great base. He has good technique, good footwork. But even though the defensive end could have won, Slater doesn't mess around, man. Slater does not lean. Um, and look, the hand even comes off. The defensive end gets that hand off of him. There's no lean in it. And all Slater does is he just, boom, gets that left hand right underneath him and just gets it right back on the defensive end. 
that's a that's a freaking rep right there man that's a really good rep slow motion makes everything great man in in my opinion um, great job right there by Rashawn Slater really impressive and then the final play comes from the same tape there um you know if you as a defensive end or, or you as a tackle can control the arms of the defensive end you're gonna win right uh, the the nfl game is all about uh, who can control whose arms who can control whose um body right just just those little, little things right um you're gonna see the defensive end slap at slater Slater's gonna knock that slap attempt down with his left arm, uh, but at the same time, when you're when you're deflecting that that slap by the defensive end, he's gonna catch his left arm, right? Uh, or Slater's gonna use his left hand and catch the defensive end's right arm, um, and then he has a hold to that arm, right? You guys see that hold right there? Um, at that point, you know, as long as you're not yanking and pulling, no flag is gonna be called, right? It's a game of hands, right? Who has the best hands will win. That's a great block by Slater, man. Slater's a very impressive uh, tackle. And in my opinion, he's a top 15 pick, possibly a top seven pick, possibly the number one tackle taken in this draft. I know some people might not agree, but there is a chance that he does get taken that high. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys watching. It really does mean a lot to me, especially if you watched up to this point. Let me know in the comments below that you guys watched it up to this point, because I really appreciate those of you guys that do. Um, and I just want to show you those of you that do uh, my appreciation. So uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.